it, it almost makes you not want to be, you know, active in the sport. It makes you not want to be an athlete anymore because it's almost, you know, that's almost like the definition of insanity. Keep trying something the same way and, you know, you're not getting, the, you know, you're not getting different results. Cathedral Catholic star sprinter Brock Bryce went from dashing his competition to the finish line to fighting just to get on the track due to consistent injuries. Junior year was when I had that really, really big hamstring injury, um, CIF prelims down in Mount Carmel, um, and that kind of set it off for me. Um, I tried to come back during the summer to start running, get a couple times posted, got injured again, and then I began this season in March, and on the 4x1 on the anchor leg, I tore my hamstring again and that took me out for a month. Brock had to take a step back and realize the big picture. And while he was able to overcome the injury before, he knew this time he couldn't do it alone. As an athlete, it's, you know, you want to be macho, you know, I got this, it's me, especially in track, it's such an individualistic sport. So, you know, running with the chip on your shoulder, showing people that you're hurt, you know, is really never the move. But this season, it was, you need people. You know, it's okay to cry, it's okay to need somebody, you need, it's okay to need a shoulder because this stuff is hard and you can't do it alone. Even with consistent injury the past two seasons, Brock earned himself a scholarship to run the 100 and 200 at USC, and he will be coached by one of his longtime idols. My dream coach was at USC, Carmelita Jeter, and she actually was at the University of Alabama at first for about two years, I believe. And so right when I got injured, she happened to transfer to USC. So I reached out to her, um, we established our line of communication again, and then it just all worked out. USC was the choice. But the relationship that was built with USC seemed to just be real. School say, you know, we have you, we want you, but then you get an injury, and when reality hits, they're not really there anymore. And for USC, that was really, really big for me because they saw what I could do and they trusted me and I trusted them. And after posting a 10-6-1 time in the 100, a PR 21-40 in the 200, and winning both events in the district track meet, Brock decided to forego the state championship and prepare for USC. Again, looking at the bigger picture. I would have gone to state, maybe I would have won, maybe I wouldn't have won, but I didn't need the self-validation anymore. I think at the end of the day, I have to look at the bigger picture. I want to be healthy for SC. I want to be able to go and still grow. And so it wouldn't have been an extra win to get a gold medal at state, you know? So just humbling myself and, you know, looking at the longevity of everything. I'm Marcus Greaves, CBS 8.